Sometimes in a substitution problem, like the one we have here, it's easy to get tripped up. What am I talking about? Well, here we've got a situation where x is negative 2. All right, And then we have an expression we're plugging it into where we see a minus x. Right? So a lot of students will see the minus x here and think, well, it's negative 2, so I'm just going to write 2 minus 2. They see this negative 2 here and think they've plugged it in correctly. However, what this is telling us is that we need to subtract x from 2. So we have to subtract whatever x is from 2, and x is negative 2. So we really need to subtract not a positive 2, that's what this is saying right here, but subtract a negative 2. And that's going to change our results. Over here, we start with x, so we start with negative 2, and then we subtract 2 away. So in the first one, how does this change our answer? Well, 2 minus negative 2 is the same as 2 plus 2. Subtracting a negative is the same as adding. And 2 plus 2 is 4. OK, I'll put those parentheses back. And the other parentheses, set of parentheses, we're starting at negative 2 and we lose 2. That gives us negative 4. So really, we're multiplying 4 by negative 4. And that is, well, I know 4 times 4 is 16. So 4 times negative 4 is negative 16. And that's it. All right, I hope this helped.